So I'm sure you've noticed that we're living in really interesting times. And one of the ways to navigate this is through tapping into our highest potential. And that potential comes through accessing intuition. Uh, in my perspective, intuition is that aspect of ourselves that is much vaster, that has higher perspectives, that can bring us information and guidance. Um, and Edgar Casey, who is a very famous psychic healer from the 19, I believe he uh, died in 1945, said that no accident, no death, nothing comes unannounced whenever we are tapped into our um, inner spiritual guidance system. And this is the intuitive self. So one of the things that I would encourage everyone to do um, is to begin to listen up to what your higher self is telling you, what your intuition is guiding you to do. We know, we know, we know. We know what's good for us. We know what is in alignment with our highest and best interest. And it's from that inner guidance that we get the best information. So the way to access that is through taking time out during the day or maybe making a special time in the morning or at a particular time when you can just for a couple of minutes often. Maybe see how it's easiest for you to access it maybe through taking a notebook and just scribbling what comes to you. It may be through um, going for a walk and just deciding that you're going to tune in and listen to anything that might pop in. One of the things that I like to do is if I have a question or there's something I'd like to explore, I will ask from a heart space, bring me more information, show me more about this information, about this experience, about this thing that I'd like to know more about. And then I make space, just little snippets of space where my mind is more or less quiet. Um, it can even be chopping the vegetables if you're making lunch or dinner and or preparing a barbecue like a lot of people are doing at this time of year. And just taking the time as you're in that space of quiet where the mind is focused on doing an activity, allowing insights to come in. The key is when those insights come in about something that may be in the work, something that you need to do, write it down or say it out loud, bring it into the material world through vocalizing it, saying it and noticing it. You can always, once you get the information, it's going to come without analysis and without any sort of um, uh, linear understanding. So get the information. And then once you do, you can look at, um, look at more, try to stay with that first impression of this is it. Because whenever you get that information and you just know, you know, <laughs> it's as simple as that. So I wish you all the best in listening to your intuitive insights. And if you'd like to find out more about exploring intuition and learning more about your intuitive abilities, you can do a one-to-one -one session with me where we can talk about it, or you can join the Intuition Circle, which is an ongoing training to develop your own personal intuitive skills.